He is known for his rapid progress in the field of chemistry, despite humble beginnings as the son of a farm worker. He is recognized for his exceptional education at the Academy at Sens and his attendance at the lectures of renowned scientists Antoine Francois Fourcroy and Louis Nicolas Bauquelin. His name is Louis Jacques Fennard. In the annals of scientific history, one name stands out, Louis Jacques Fennard, a French chemist whose contributions have revolutionized the field. Born in a humble farm cottage near nogent sur seine in the Champagne district, Fennard's journey to success was anything but easy. In a time when education was a privilege, he received a scholarship that allowed him to study at the academy in Sens. At the age of 16, Fennard moved to Paris to study pharmacy. There, he had the opportunity to attend lectures by renowned chemists Antoine Francois Fourcroy and Louis Nicolas Vauquelin. Despite being unable to afford the monthly fee for Vauquelin's laboratory, Fennard's talent and dedication caught the attention of Vauquelin's sisters, who vouched for him. Within a few years, his progress was so remarkable that he was able to take his master's place at the lecture table. Impressed by Fennert's skills, Fourcroy and Vauquelin secured teaching appointments for him in 1797, first as a chemistry teacher and then as a repetiteur at the prestigious École Polytechnique in 1798. Fennert's brilliance and expertise in chemistry would later pave the way for groundbreaking discoveries and inventions that would shape the scientific landscape for years to come. In 1804, Louis Jacques Fennard, known simply as Fennard, was appointed to the prestigious chairs of chemistry at the École Polytechnique and the Faculté de Sciences in France. His appointment came about with the help of his mentor, Vauquelin, who resigned his own professorship to make way for Fennard. Six years later, after the death of Fourcroy, Fennard was further elected as a member of the Academy, solidifying his position as a leading figure in the field of chemistry. Fennard's influence and reputation extended beyond France. In 1821, he was honored with the title of foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, recognizing his contributions to the scientific community. He continued to receive accolades throughout his career, with Charles X granting him the title of Baron in 1825, and Louis Philippe making him a peer of France in 1832. Not content with his academic achievements alone, Fennard also played an active role in politics and public education. From 1827 to 1830, he represented the Department of Yann in the Chamber of Deputies, advocating for scientific education in France. As the Vice President of the Concile Supérieur de l'Instruction Public, he wielded significant influence and shaped the direction of scientific education in the country. Fennard's dedication to teaching was unparalleled. He believed that everything, from the professor to the laboratory itself, should be sacrificed for the benefit of the students. In line with this philosophy, he published a textbook called Trait de Chimie Elementaire, Théorique et Pratique, which became a standard reference for chemistry for over 25 years. This textbook, along with his numerous original discoveries, contributed significantly to the advancement of the field. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.